What's up, Crypto Junkies? Welcome to another news segment today. We've got uh, just some recap stuff that we're going to talk about and some interesting conversations around that. So obviously, the main thing everyone's still talking about is the Bitcoin ABC and SV fork that's going on and continued conversations about the drama between Jihan, Roger, Craig, Calvin, and the whole squad here. So that's what we're going to talk about. I know that there's some other news bits. NVIDIA took an absolute sh- when it released its quarter three earnings uh, earlier today, but those things can wait. I wanna talk about this. So there's two places that you could have tracked the actual fork itself, which forkmonitor.info always does, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash forks. And then the other one, which is a little bit easier to understand if you don't know the actual like jargon of everything, is an easy one is just cash.coin.dance and Bitcoin ABC and SV. It is now looking like it's complete. Like, so the fork itself is completed, but it's not, it's too early to tell like who's the, I guess, I don't know why people are trying to figure out winner and loser, but it's still too early to see who's like kind of come out ahead on this whole thing. Even though ABC is sitting at 68% of the hash rate right now, 32% on SV, both camps are still pretty much at war on Twitter. Craig Wright versus Camp Roger Ver at this point. You see a lot of people calling it way too early. This was posted uh, this morning. So this was posted like eight hours ago. It's too early to tell because they could be shadow mining. SV could be shadow mining, which is just that they're mining and then they're not gonna broadcast until it's all done. And then they could do a reorg. Some of this stuff is new to me. And I, you know, I don't even pretend like I know I have in-depth knowledge of mining itself and how to actually build these chains and uh, how the actual blockchain technology works. Cause I, I don't, um, as time goes on, I'll get better at this, I know. In case you didn't know what any of that meant, shadow mining, yes, mining blocks without broadcasting until you have a longer chain, broadcast it all at once. So the nodes favor the longer chain and reorgs the blocks and transactions previously mined for the attacker's chain. All the old transactions are lost and obviously chaos would ensue at that point. So interesting conversation on this thread here. Joseph Young, he's a crypto guy. Here's his uh, handle. Oh, nice little conspiracy theory bubbles out. I wouldn't even see, call it a conspiracy theory. I'd just call it a theory. How do you exit scam a coin? Manufacture a fake drama, create a token split to attract traders. They all end up holding the bag. You walk away with an SV with two coins, an SV and an ABC. Come back, make amends later. It'd be really involved if that's what was going on. This is a great conversation thread too. I'll link this underneath the video. I just find it hard to believe that that's what's actually going on. It'd have to be really, really deep, like really, really deep with the coordination and collusion that they have going on. And I just don't think that's the case. BCH single-handedly proved why on-chain scaling is a bad idea. Mining centralization is a bad idea. Why Satoshi disappeared. There shouldn't be a CEO of a blockchain. Done and sorted. Let's jump over to to McAfee, who's now officially decided to take sides. When was this? Oh, this was yesterday, so I'm a little slow on this. Those who stand against Jihan Wu are idiots who don't see the realities of the playing field. Please get real. I will not let my ego destroy me by making me think I could challenge the only real power in this space. My email to him should make it clear to anyone where I stand. Go ahead, take a second, read the email. The conversation underneath in the thread isn't really that interesting. Here's where his logic is. His logic is that the Chinese government is deeply involved in Bitcoin. Jihan Wu is a Chinese resident and China holds most of Bitcoin mining power. It would take nothing for them to flick over. And yeah, they face legal issues, but maybe even not with the Chinese, with how this supposed relationship is with the Chinese government, according to John McAfee, but they could just flick it over to uh, the hash power over to ABC and crush. Nobody would really be able to stop him. And so that's, this is basically just a bunch of speculation by John McAfee, but he does know Jihan Wu. He spent a decent amount of time with him past like, you know, a quick introduction or meet and greet. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see his perspective. This is more along the lines of my perspective. I don't agree with what he's saying. Like I, I'm not taking sides on this actually. I don't, I don't take any side on this whole situation. How we're thinking similarly is I do think that China holds a lot more power than people realize and just everyone's too afraid to admit it or they don't actually understand what's going on or like how I came to that conclusion, which is okay as well. Interesting, right? You can follow this thread too underneath the video. This one, how do you measure a crypto asset? Introducing the Coindesk Crypto Economics Explorer, tools designed to offer a more complete picture of crypto economic activity. Let me just go ahead and play this. We are launching the Coindesk Crypto Economics Explorer, a comprehensive visual tool designed to help you measure and track interest and activity in crypto assets. 
Crypto assets are a unique technological phenomenon, one that remains difficult to truly measure with existing tools. The Coindesk Crypto Economic Explorer is able to measure the full scope of the crypto market by drawing on all the incentives that drive its growth and utility. Okay, so there you have it. Anyway, I think it's great that new tools are being developed. Um, Coindesk, I do like more than, let's say, CoinGeek, which is run by Calvin Air, or you know, Bitcoin.com, which is run by Roger Ver, and I think has done some really uh, manipulative things for new people coming in to the space to get them into Bitcoin Cash. So I'm a fan. I think overall, this is a good direction. It's gotten criticism and support both sides. Last thing we're going to touch on here is uh, economist and longtime Bitcoin skeptic Steve Hank or Hanky has joined the board of advisors for a P2P crypto exchange, AirTM, guide its Latin America expansion, including a new system for price stable assets he will design. Well, thanks, Steve. Um, it's a joke. This is the play, guys. And I've been talking about this for months and months and months, and most people do not like how I talk about this because most people do not like reality. So we all like to hide from reality. And anyone who's pointing it out, shame on them. But the game is that the skeptics use the leverage of the skepticism to get brought into projects who want to look legit, and then they get all the power. They get the power with their authority, with their feedback, with their voice that's being broadcast and echoed throughout the whole company to make these changes. Because again, they can always frame it as, well, if you wanna be taken serious in the main money markets, if you wanna be taken serious by big money, then you gotta do this, then you gotta do that. Why wouldn't we want a price stable asset? Because it makes sense. Decentralization is a joke. Decentralization is an illusion, right? Those are the arguments that they'll make and the bankers make them and the economists, like when did we give so much power to economists? Like remember the whole uh, Rubini situation? Like why the hell did that guy get so much airtime? Why was he sitting in front of Congress as like an expert? And once again, we've got another one who's now going to get touted around and watch to see what he does, okay? And if anything, watch to see what he does to try and prove me wrong. But this is my long working theory here is that the banking sector through different people, the economists and the bankers and the ex-CEOs and the ex this is they've been sinking their claws in since mid-2017. And they're getting into all these positions of power, advisory boards, and they're guiding, directing, and you know, taking this where they want it to go. I don't like to end on a, a bad note. I don't think that's a bad note. It's just something I want you guys to be aware of. But anyways, there you have it. Quick update on the drama going on with the Bitcoin ABC slash SV fork. A little bit of news drop in there. Be on the lookout because we'll be dropping another news video later on today. And then if this is the first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Bell notification, you know the deal. And if you want to show support, it just takes a second, guys. You've already watched the video. Click the like button. Show us some support. Place a comment underneath if you want to interact with us. Let us know what you're thinking about this. And we'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.